Exams can be really hard and they can be really stressful, but there are lots of things you can do during the exam to actually make the exam easier. Some of your exams are really, really long, like an hour and a half, two hours, and generally the easy questions are at the beginning and the hard questions are at the end. So if you go into the exam, sit down at the beginning of a two hour exam, all fresh and calm, and start with the easy questions, and then two hours, hour and a half later, once you've been working really hard, once your hand tired, once your brain's tired, you then get through to the hard questions, well that is gonna seem even harder. What I'm gonna suggest is you start the paper at the end. So you start with question seven, first or question 10 first that way you're doing the hardest question on the paper the last question on the paper when you're feeling freshest when you are calmest when you're straight into the exam when you're not tired after an hour and a half of writing so the first thing I'm suggesting is that you turn straight to the end of the paper and do the hardest question first when you're feeling freshest now, you don't have to start with the hardest question first, you can start with the nicest looking question first. Everyone has their favorite topics on an exam. So quickly flick through the exam and do that question first. Now there could be two questions first, that'd be amazing. This gives you a really positive boost at the start of the exam paper. You've done your favorite questions, you're fairly sure that you've got the marks, confident you've got the marks on those, and this gives you a nice positive mental boost to do the rest of the paper with. You do not have to do the questions in order. Start at the end with the hardest one or start in the middle with your favorite one. You hopefully have enough time for exams to try out these techniques and see which one suits you best. It is gonna be different for different people, but I really don't recommend starting with the first question first, unless it's your favourite topic. On some of the exams, there are going to be whole sections of multiple choice questions, and you get given a time to do those in. Set yourself just under that time to go through and do the multiple choice questions that you can easily, happily do. Go back and do the rest of the paper, and then hopefully you should have some time left over at the end to go through and fill in the multiple choice questions that you have to think a bit harder about. We want to be working at roughly one mark per minute, but some questions you'll be able to do in under a minute if it's just a tick box that you know the answer to or if it's just a one word answer. And then you can take that time responding to other questions in a bit more of a thoughtful, considered way. But do not spend lots and lots of time trying to do a one mark answer. That's not going to be helpful. In an exam, you can use highlighters to pick out key bits of information and then cross out other context which isn't actually useful for the exams. You can write your answers in highlighters because your exams will get scanned and sent off to be marked and any highlighter doesn't show up on scans, but you can use it to pick out key bits of information. This is great in maths when you're trying to use this bit of the diagram for part A and this bit for part B, color that bit in blue and then that bit in green and it will really, really pick out to you which angle, which line or which part of the graph you're working on at that point in time. Lots of exam questions will have context in, like Primrose went to the park and threw a ball that isn't actually well, possible because she doesn't like throwing balls into the cat. Anyway, that isn't actually useful for the actual answering of the exam, unless it's an essay about cats throwing balls. It probably won't be. So just cross that little bit of information out so that when you go back to the question, you don't get confused by having to read the same thing over and over again. Don't like scribble it out so you can't completely read it. Just gently put a line through it because it might be useful later on. We might want to refer back to it, but we might just want to forget about it. Exams are a really, really stressful time, guys. So hopefully the few little exam techniques there will help you get through exams with less stress. Remember, you don't have to do the exams in order. You can use highlighters for highlighting and picking out bits of the question. Good luck guys, I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.